are edit modes in Pro Tools, one of the most basic things that you need to know. So let's go ahead and check these out here. One stop playback here. Our edit modes are shuffle, spot, slip, and grid. So we'll check them out real quick here. We can switch between them on our keyboard with F1 for shuffle, F2 for slip, F3 for spot, and F4 for grid. You can also press F4 again to get into relative grid. You can also click and hold and go back and switch between those two. Let's start up here with shuffle. So how does this work? If we select a clip here in shuffle and I go to move it, you can see what happens here. When I release, it shuffled that clip around. Okay, so same thing for our MIDI clips. I move this one back here, it shuffles between those two. All right, move this here, it shuffles this one back and shuffles this one forward. Okay, and this also of course applies to our tools. All of our different editing modes will also apply to many of our different tools here. So for example, if I make a selection here and I just cut that out by hitting delete, all of that shuffles down. So shuffle mode might be helpful if you're cutting out uhs and ahs or something in dialogue. So we say we don't need this part, just hit delete, and then everything shuffles down. Of course, this applies to, uh, if I select multiple tracks here, select all three of those, hit delete, and all of those tracks shuffle down. Now from there, there is a shuffle lock mode because sometimes you don't want to enter shuffle mode by accident. So to access shuffle lock, hold down control on Windows or command on Mac and click shuffle. Now you see that lock come up and now I can't choose that by clicking it or by uh, hitting F1, all right? Because sometimes, you know, if you're in shuffle mode and you make a, uh, a uh, selection here, get rid of that, make a selection and you say cut out a part, everything shuffles down, you don't realize it, well, you get to the end of your session and now everything is out of sync. So that's what shuffle lock exists for. Now from there, uh, we can come in here, of course, you know, in shuffle mode, whenever we make a selection, it's basically in slip mode. We'll get back to this here in a, in a minute. Let's go to spot. Spot is probably most useful when you're working with video. But if I select a clip, right there we go. We can spot this clip wherever we want it. Let's say on bar uh, 14 here, you can put it in or whatever. Okay, and that's gonna move it around. Okay, same thing for when you grab something from your list here, your clips list. I bring this in, I release, now I can spot this wherever I want it. So bar 90 or something like that. And of course it's gonna be you know, way, down, uh, way down there. All right, that's your spot mode, the uh, basics of your uh, spot mode there. As far as editing goes, you can still sort of edit basically in slip mode. Move on to slip mode. So with slip mode, I can of course slip all of my clips wherever I want. And keep in mind our editing modes also uh, apply to our MIDI notes and our uh, MIDI here. So with, uh, I'm in spot right now over here, I'd like to slip here. So I can of course slip this around versus if I was in grid mode or something, now I'm locked to that grid, okay? So all of this applies to uh, our MIDI clips and notes uh, as well. So slip mode, I can of course slip my selection however I want, not locked to a grid. If I delete something in slip mode, nothing shuffles back, nothing moves. And then I can of course move that or slip that wherever I want. So that's the basics of slip mode. Of course, if I'm gonna edit, I can just slip that along. Now compare that with grid mode. Come in here to grid mode, and now I try to edit. Now I'm locked to my grid selection. In this case, it is a quarter note, but if it was a bar, now locked to that bar. Same thing if I go to move a clip, I'm locking to bars, all right? So turn your grid lines on and off with that grid button there. Let's go back to quarter note resolution there. So that is the basics of your grid mode and uh, your slip mode. You're probably going to be using slip and grid most often. And because of that, there are a couple of other shortcuts uh, that you need to uh, uh, know about. And that would be we could temporarily enter slip mode by holding down control or command on Mac. And now I can slip this edit in this case anywhere I want, I'm not locked to that grid. So I can slip it, release, uh, release control in my case. Now I'm right back to the full grid mode. Hold down control, temporarily enter slip mode, slip this clip around or slip some notes around, so on and so forth. Let's go back to slip mode. So in slip mode, I can of course slip things around. We already know that. But what if I need to temporarily enter grid mode? Same thing, hold down control on Windows, command on Mac, hold down control in my case. Now I'm temporarily in grid mode and I'm locking to the grid. Same thing if I go to edit, now my edits are locked to that grid when I'm here in slip mode. So release control in my case or command on Mac. And we can of course slip. Now, let me actually slip this past this grid marker. 
so we can actually go to our relative grid. So what is relative grid? Well, as you can see, on quarter notes here, in relative grid or in absolute grid here, let's go back to absolute grid. If I move this clip here, it's going to lock, of course, to a grid mark. Okay, let me head back to slip mode here and just slip it out of the way. Now, if I come here to relative grid, we'll zoom out just a bit. I should lock to this bar, right? Well, not exactly in a relative grid. So now when I move this clip, you can see what happens. We move back or forward by the resolution chosen here uh, for our grid, but we stay relative to the position that it was. So it moves back that quarter note, but relative to the position that it already is. Okay, so this can be helpful whenever, you know, I need that a quarter note sooner, I need that, you know, where, whatever your grid setting is, but I don't want it to be out of sync or you know, whatnot. So that's basically all you need to know. There's also some other things that you can do. So we can go slip grid. So I'll choose slip and then shift select grid mode. So now, which just starts to get confusing, uh, if I make a selection here, my selections now are latched to that grid. I'm not holding down any keys, by the way, but my selections are now latched to that grid. So I can delete you know, that section based on the grid and immediately grab the clip and move the clip in slip mode. Okay, same thing happens here in spot or shuffle. You can do a uh, shift select grid here. So then we have, we're locking to the grid whenever we make our edits here. Okay, but as you can see there, I'll make this selection here, I lock to the grid and release, and then it shuffles back. So that's your shuffle grid, your slip grid, your spot grid, your relative grid, our straight up shuffle, our straight up slip spot grid, relative grid, and of course the good old shuffle lock so you don't accidentally head in there to shuffle mode so that's about all you need to know for your edit modes get used to them again you're going to use slipping grid most often once again f1 actually let me un unlatch this first control click or command click on mac f1 f2 f3 f4 f4 again to enter relative grid f4 again to go back to our uh, absolute grid f1 and f4 for example to go into our shuffle grid, uh, F2 and F4, you know, so on and so forth. You can do it with your keyboard shortcuts as well. But that is your editing modes here in Pro Tools. They affect not only your clips, but your tools, your editing tools, and of course your notes, your MIDI notes, so on and so forth. So be sure to get used to these and uh, try each of them out.